pretty powerful stuff right there. That guy is, uh, I had an opportunity to meet him and uh, hear him speak in person. And uh, he is just as energetic in that video as he is in person uh, in everything that he does. So he said a couple of things that I want to that I want to hit on. And then, Matt, I want to ask you a question, because based on the fireside chat that we had the other day, um, something came up that I want to talk uh, about with you. And I think everyone on here will, will, will find some value in that. But he said it's not can't, but how. Get that can't out of your mind. And in those moments where you think can't immediately replace the word with how. How could I make this possible? How could I make it happen? How could this turn into what I've always wanted or what I want in this moment? Next thing he said is, is something that we've been taught all the time. It's absolutely impossible to have a negative thought and a gratitude thought at the exact same time, which is why we talk about starting your day with gratitude. Because it puts you in a positive mindset from the moment your feet hit the floor or from the moment you, you finish your morning routine and you decide you're going to start your day, go and write three handwritten notes, pick up the phone, call someone and tell them how grateful you are for them, send a text message, get on Facebook and share gratitude with somebody in a public way that not only makes you feel good, it makes them feel good too. Because then you're starting your day in a very, very positive mindset. Is it possible that negativity is going to come up later that day? Absolutely. What do you do? Go back to gratitude. Go back to gratitude. When you're putting yourself in a position where you are uncomfortable and you're not sure if you can do it, change it to how can I do it, write some gratitude before or give some gratitude before you go into that, because now you've put yourself in a positive mind space so you can take action. And then the third thing that he said, there's a famous quote by Nelson Mandela. I don't lose. I only win or learn. I don't lose. I only win or learn. Every single thing that we're up against, if we have not become victorious in it yet there's a lesson that we can learn that we can adjust we can change and then we can re-enter the cycle with that new knowledge that we've had to give us the opportunity to become victorious to win so in every single thing that you go through if you haven't succeeded the first time ask yourself the question what did i learn what can I do differently next time? Set yourself up with the plan as you get ready to go and do it again and re-enter it with those two new pieces of knowledge that you've uh, realized that you have so that you're giving yourself an opportunity to have an even better result. Now, Nick talked about the dream killers around him, those people who automatically went to the negative and said, uh, when he was in third grade, you just got beat by the crippled kid. I mean, come on, third grade, that's terrible. Um, and they were crushing his dreams at that moment in time. And then he talked about later in life how he wanted to go and become a wrestler. And there were so many people who told him, you can't do it. You don't have legs and you've only got one arm. This is impossible. Which led me to think, Matt, about the story that you shared with us when we were uh, having the interview with our agents in the office, which, by the way, you'll get to hear some of those things soon. But Matt, you shared the story about when you told the teachers uh, at your school that you were going to be going into real estate and you weren't coming back. And share with us what happened, specifically what somebody gave you. Yeah, so um, I was <laughs> that was a, a, like a defining time of my life. And I really didn't know which direction I was going in. And, and I wasn't sure real estate was going to work at all. And I had a lot of doubts about myself. And clearly a lot of people around me were doubting me as well. And um, one of the school social workers whose job it is, is to have 
um, resources for kids to, um, you know, if they're homeless or they need food stamps or they need, you know, mental health services or they need a place to live, whatever, homeless, whatever it is, they have a list of vendors that are always available for those kids and to give to the parents and, and so they can, you know, utilize those services. And um, in a jokingly slash, you know, somewhat serious manner, this social worker, after I told him that I was um, planning on going into real estate full time, decided to give me, go into his office and grab the, um, the vendor list for me and um, provided me, you know, kind of gave it to me in a joking slash serious manner, thinking that, oh, okay, well, he's going to need this. You know, you're going to, you're never going to make it. There, you're, you're going into real estate in the end of 2011. And, and this was resources think, for how to get food stamps, how to uh, get uh, social wel- welfare, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, all kinds of things, homelessness, you know, and, and where I could stay if I, if I find myself homeless. And I just, at that point in time, he has no idea the motivation that he provided me with giving me that piece of paper. And um, it was, it's something I'll never forget. And it's something that drives me, you know, that it drove me like you wouldn't believe then and drives me today. I still think about it. You mentioned you still have it, right? I do. I still have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's yep. part of the motivation for you is when those people didn't believe in you, you can turn that into, I'm going to show you. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Because in, in that last video, was, I think one of the things he said was, no one's coming to save you. And, yeah. um, and it was like, yeah, you got to do you. You know, the social worker is not going to come to save you. Keller Williams is not coming to save you. You, know, you have to go out and work. And that was something I, I had, you know, it took me a, a hot second to learn. but. Because I, I need, I thought I was just going to, you know, get on the back of somebody else, and and uh, but that's not how it works. And um, you know, no one's coming to say. You gotta... Remember this: if you choose to get on the back of somebody else, you're only going to be able to go as far as they choose to go. You guys still there? Yeah, we're still here. Uh, we lost you for just a second, but if you choose to get on the back of somebody else, you're only gonna be able to go as far as they choose to go. Actually, you won't be able to go as far as they choose to go because you're gonna be behind them. Now, (laughs) not saying that's a bad thing. Leverage that to learn all that you can from those people who are ahead of you and then turn that into your legacy, turn that into uh, your life by design. You know, here's the thing that I love about uh, entrepreneurship. It's for everyone. You know, there's people who go and start their own businesses because, Matt, they may love being a teacher and they want to continue to do that. And unfortunately, it doesn't support the life that they've always designed in their mind because they don't get paid what what they desire or what they should. So they go and create additional businesses to support that life by design. Well, they love teaching. They just want to have something else in their life too. There, there's firefighters, police officers, all kinds of people uh, who have these additional businesses to create everything that they've ever wanted. And they do that because, um, because they see something greater for themselves. And, and the, the word legacy comes to mind. And, and I've, I've mentioned this before, and I want to mention it to you again today. Legacy is not something you leave behind. Legacy is something you live every single day. When you choose to live your legacy every single day, it guarantees that you leave one. And it guarantees that you leave the one you wanted. Legacy can be a good and a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. Your legacy is, is the life you leave behind. So choose to live your life as though you're massively passionate about everything that you are doing. Because then you're leaving a positive legacy behind for other people. I want to encourage you guys today to be like Nick. Take those limiting beliefs that you have and turn them into positive beliefs. Because the limiting beliefs, they're not serving you. They're holding you back. And Just like he said, when you turn your limiting belief into a positive belief, there's so many other people that may look at that and see inspiration in you because of what you've done. 
Matt, I promise you, and I'm sure you know, and they can come to mind right now, people who were inspired because of what you did and because of what you went and created. And there's people out there who, guess what? You may never know about whether or not you did that for them because they may never tell you. Yet you have inspired people by choosing to take a stand for your own greatness. So I would challenge you today to choose one thing, just one thing that you want to get a little bit better at and put five minutes into it every single day. If you put five minutes into getting better in one specific area every single day, that's going to add up to great things in the long run. It's this Japanese philosophy called Kaizen, which is essentially I'm going to get up and be 1% better every single day. Goes to the book that uh, uh, Chris Nickich wrote about becoming the very first uh, person with Down syndrome to do an Ironman. He chose 1% better every single day. And I know that every single one of you can do the same. And I've got a shirt now that says exactly what I tell you every day at the end of the call. Choose today to be a little more uncomfortable because everything you want in your life is right outside of your comfort zone. Is it gonna be comfortable at the beginning? No, it won't. But over time, it will become comfortable because that is your new bar. That's your new floor. That's your new floor. And remember, today's ceiling is tomorrow's floor. Today's ceiling is tomorrow's floor. Start every single day at the place where you ended yesterday on the highest point so that you can go and accomplish everything that you want to. I appreciate you all for being here. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I will talk to you later. Bye.